Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you some differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. And it all boils down to one thing, and I'm going to reveal that one thing at the end of the video. Hey, this is WordPress.com, and this is a site where you could start you a, start your blog up for free. There's also a paid version of this, which allows you to have more features, as you can see, 599, 825, 24.92 for business account. It gives you more features with WordPress.com. See there. And the next one, which is WordPress org is a self-hosted site and as you can see here the themes plugins and so forth and I'm going to take you to a nice infographic that was made on the website wpbeginner.com and I'm going to leave a link of this infographic in the description so you can reference it self-hosted wordpress.org versus free wordpress.com and you can see some of the differences here you have a full theme support with wordpress.org on my blog I use I'm able to use optimized press which is a nice blogging system I could never use it if I had a free WordPress.com site. It wouldn't. It wouldn't let me let me install it on there because there's a plugin for it as well. You see, all plugins are allowed on self-hosted site. No plugins are allowed on the free WordPress.com site. You see, there, there's an expense also when you run your own website when you have a self-hosted site this one is free and like I said there are some paid options as well monetization freedom you could set it up to make as much money as you like but you couldn't do it on wordpress.com maintenance 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 is, is huge for a lot of people I understand that um, for myself it's not a big deal because when I run into an issue whether it's a security issue or performance issue with my website I can pretty much narrow it down and fix it but you know a lot of people can a lot of people don't want the headache which is why some people go to the wordpress.com site in order to blog and you can see the not part of the network extra traffic that you'll get from wordpress.com according to this infographic but it all depends on what you want it's really all about control and that's the thing that I, I was going to talk about I made reference to it at the beginning of the recording do you want to control your own website or you know maybe there's a few trade-offs which I just probably went through a few for some people me personally I like running my own website I love the freedom I love the control of it and but that's just me I like I said I really understand why some bloggers go with wordpress.com I understand it but wordpress.org for me in the comment section hey let me know which one you prefer wordpress.com or wordpress.org I'd love to hear some of the different comments and opinions in the comment section hey make sure you also subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel so you can see some of the next videos or new videos that I come out with Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me watching this video. And hey, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.